Hello everyone. Now dear students, in this lecture we are going to see about the Miller indices. What do you mean by the Miller indices? And why we use the Miller indices to show the orientation of a crystal plane in solid state physics. Now, dear students, we know that in mathematics or in a geometry, the orientation of a surface or a crystal plane may be obtained by considering where the plane intersect the main crystallographic axis. Now, consider here this is one of the geometric planes, say as the ABC, having the intercept the two axial unit along the x and the y axis and the one axial unit along the z axis. Therefore, the orientation of this plane is 2 to 1. Now, here the A, B and C are the directions. But when we consider in case of that the any solid material, we know that in the solid material, the solid material is nothing in that solid material, there are the number of planes which are oriented in a different directions. Now that means the some planes get oriented in this way, the some planes get oriented in this way or the some planes get oriented in this direction. Now in first chapter we have seen how there is the formation of the crystal in a two dimensional lattice and also in a three dimensional lattice. Now consider here this is the two di dimensional crystal lattice. Now it having the number of lattice points. Now if we connect now these lattice points by using this line. Now then all these planes are all these uh, lattice points are in one plane and that plane is known as the crystal plane. Now, if we connect the second row of these lattice points, now then there is the second crystalline plane and in this way, if we connect all these lattice points along the x direction, so all these, x, uh, all these crystal planes are parallel with each other and its orientation is along the x direction. Similarly, if we connect the lattice points in the vertical direction. Now then the orientation of these planes of all these planes along these directions is along the y direction. Similarly, if we connect all these lattice points in this way, so the direction and the orientation of this plane is again different here. Similarly, in case of that the three dimensional network, if we consider here this is the one unit cell, it having the intersect along the x and the y axis. So, here the some planes which are parallel to the x axis, some planes which are parallel to the y axis and the some planes which are parallel to the z axis. Now, that means here the orientation of the planes in this unit cell are also along the different directions. Now, in case of that the geometrical plane, we can show the orientation by taking directly the intercept of the planes along the x and x, y and the z, z axis that is along the Cartesian coordinate axis. But in case of that the solid materials, there are the huge number of the planes the orientation of these planes are also along the different directions. So, it becomes necessary means it is not possible to take directly the intercept of these planes corresponding to the three axes. So, the scientist
the miller uh, william hello miller suggested one of the technique to show the orientation of the planes by taking the reciprocal of the intercept and that are known as the miller indices so according to the miller it is more useful to describe the orientation of the plane by the reciprocal of the numerical parameters that means instead of to take to write the intercept directly inside the any slide inside the solids now it is more useful to take the reciprocal of that numerical parameters and this scheme was developed by the british mineralogist and the crystallographer william hollo miller in 1839 that means we can say that the miller indices are used to specify the direction and the planes this direction and the planes could be in the lattice or in a crystal now that means here we can suppose here this is the one plane having the coordinate say as this is the 100 0, 0, that means this is along the x axis only so here the family of the coordinate is the 100 0. then we can write the coordinates of this plane that is the 0 1 1 0 1 0 now here if we consider here this is along the z axis now then the coordinates of this point of this planes are 0 0 and 1 now in this way here all these planes having the different coordinates and having the different orientation so here instead of to write directly the intercept along the corresponding three axis now it becomes more useful to write it in terms of the miller indices therefore the miller indices are the reciprocal of the intercept made by the plane on the three rectangular axis and so we can write it in terms of the hkl therefore if consider here this is the one of the plane having the intercept the p1a p2b and the p3q now then this intercept by taking the reciprocal of this intercept we can write it in terms of the miller indices and that are the hkl therefore we can say that the miller indices are the group of the three numbers that indicates the orientation of the plane or the set of the parallel planes of the atoms in a crystal and we can define the miller indices any of a set of the three numbers or the letters h k l used to indicate the position of a face or the internal plane of a crystal and determine on the basis of the reciprocal of the intercept of the face or the plane on the crystallographic axis so now we can obtain the orientation of the every plane inside the crystal or inside that the lattice inside that the unit cell in terms of the miller indices now here is the procedure then how to obtain how to find the miller indices now here is the procedure now we are going to see the procedure to find for or for finding the miller indices now first if we take the such a type of the the plane say as the abc now then first step is to identify the intercept of the plane on the x y and the z axis in terms of the lattice constant a b and the c in a second step express them in terms of the axial points that is the x is equal to the p1 a y is equal to be the p2b and z is equal to be the p3c in a third step take the reciprocal of these numbers the p1 p2 and the p3 so we can write 1 upon p1 1 upon p2 and the 1 upon p3 convert these reciprocal into the whole number by multiplying each with their lcm and write the result of the parent and write the result in the parenthesis that means then find the lcm of the p1 p2 and the p3 multiply that lcm to these reciprocals 
then you will get the Miller indices directly and we can write it in terms of the in the parenthesis that is HKL. Now take this is one of that the example. Now take the plane ABC. Now then in a first step, first step to identify the intercept of the plane on the x, y and the z axis in terms of the lattice constant A, B and the C. So here the intercept that means this plane intersect on the x axis at the two axis unit along the x axis the two axial unit along the y axis and the one axial unit along the z axis that means we can write here this is the 2a 2b and the c express them in terms of the axial point that is we can write it the x is equal to in terms of the p1 a p2b and the p3c therefore we get here the p1 is equal to be the 2 p2 is equal to be the 2 and p3 is equal to be the 1 by taking the reciprocal of these numbers we get the 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and 1 by 1. Now convert this reciprocal of the of, into the whole number by multiplying each with their LCM. Therefore, now here the LCM of these numbers 2, 2, 1 is the 2 by multiplying this LCM to this reciprocal that is H is equal to be the 2 by 2 is equal to be the 1, K is equal to be the 2 by 2 is equal to 1 and n is equal to be the 2 by 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, the Miller indices of this ABC plane are 1, 1, 2. Now then, the intercept of this plane are the 2, 2, 1, but now here, its Miller in indices are 1, 1, 2. Now in this way, in case of that, the any crystalline structure any crystalline plane, we can find the Miller indices. Now, in case of that, the cubic crystal structure. Now, consider here that ABCD is one of the plane of this cube. The intercept of this plane ABCD on the x axis is the one unit, and here the surface. The ones and here the the surfaces are parallel to the y and the z axis. Strictly here, there is the no intercept on these two axes, but we shall consider the intercept to be at the infinity. Means those planes having the intercept in the space now then we consider the intercept of that the plane corresponding to that axis equal to the infinity now that means here for this plane it doesn't cut it doesn't intersect to the y and the x axis now, and hence its intersect in a space so we consider it is equal to the infinity. Therefore, the intercept on the x and y, z axis are the, the one infinity and the infinity. Therefore, by following the different steps to obtain the Miller indices, in a first step, identify the intercept of this plane in terms of the lattice constant A, B, C. So, we can write the 1A, infinite B and the infinite C express it in terms of the axial points such as x is equal to the p1a, p2b and the p3c that is here therefore we get the p1 is equal to be the 1, p2 is equal to be the infinity, p3 is equal to be the infinity by taking the reciprocal of these numbers so we get here 1 by 1, 1 by infinity and the 1 by infinity so its LCM is 1 now then by multiplying the LCM to this reciprocal, we get the h is equal to be the 1 by 1 is equal to 1, k is equal to the 1 by infinity is equal to the 0 and l is equal to the 1 by infinity is equal to the 0. Therefore, the Miller indices for these planes 
for this plane ABC are one zero zero zero. Therefore, its intercept of this plane means the coordinate of these planes ABCD are one zero zero, while the Miller indices of this plane are of the of these planes are also here. That is the one zero zero. Now, in case of now consider the another one example. Now consider here this is the plane AF means here this is the plane AF G and ED. Now it this plane intersect to the x axis and the y axis. Therefore, the intercept of this plane on the x axis is at the one axial unit. And and what and one axial unit and the y is equal to b also the one axial unit and the z is at the infinity so it doesn't intersect to the z axis so we are considering its intercept is at the infinity so we can write here the intercept of this plane are the one one infinity therefore we can write here this is the p1 is equal to be the one p2 is equal to be the one and p3 is equal to be the infinity by taking the reciprocal of these numbers of this intercept we get here this is the one by one one by one and one by infinity its lcm is one by multiplying else to this number so we get the one multiply by one divided by the one is equal to be the one one multiply by one divided by the one is equal to be the one 1 multiplied by 1 divided by the infinity is equal to be the 0 therefore the intersect therefore the miller indices of this plane are 1 1 0 now taken the another example now consider here this is the plane abc having uh, now having the intercept on the x axis y axis and the z axis all are the one axial unit so we can write here that is the one a one b and the one c therefore here we can write here this is the p1 is equal to be the one p2 is equal to be the one and p3 is equal to be the one by taking the reciprocal of these three we get one by one one by one one by one its lcm is one and in this way by multiplying lcm to these reciprocals we get the miller indices are the one 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 therefore this plane in this cube if we consider a such a type of that the plane which intersect to the three axes and having the coordinates one 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 now then the miller indices of this plane are also the similar that are the one 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 now take take an Again, the third example, then a, a B D C of this cube here. Now here, the intercept of this plane A B D C is on the negative part of the axis and is at the ma minus one axial unit. Okay. And now here, this plane now it doesn't intersect to the y and the z axis. Therefore, we are considering. Its it in uh, its intercept is in the in, uh, is in the space and therefore we are taking its intercept are equal to the infinity. Therefore, the intercept of this plane are the minus one a infinite p and the infinite c. So we can therefore we can write here this is the p one is equal to the one p two is equal to the infinity p three is equal to the infinity by taking its reciprocal and we are the, if we find it its lcm so the lcm equal to be the one here by multiplying this lcm to this reciprocal so we get here this is the minus one zero zero but now in case of that this minus uh, one we can write it in terms of that the bar one so the miller indices of the planes those having the coordinates in the negative direction we can write it in terms of the bar. So, 
such a type of that the plane having the miller indices is bar 1 0 0 now consider here this is the fourth example now consider the plane abcd of this cube now this is the intercept of this plane abcd is the x axis is at 1 one, one half along one half unit along the x axis and similarly in this case here it doesn't intersect to the y and the z axis it intersects are in the space so we are taking they are at the infinity therefore we can write the intersect of these planes are minus 1 by 2a infinite p and the infinite c infinity c therefore we can write the p1 is equal to the 1 by 2 p2 is equal to the infinity p3 is equal to the infinity that therefore by taking its reciprocal we get the twice 1 by infinity 1 by infinity its lcm is the 2 by multiplying this lcm to this reciprocal so we get the values of the hkl and that hkl are the 2 0 0 therefore here the miller miller indices of such a plane which having the intersect at one half the axial unit along in any axis now then we can find its miller indices in this way now these are the again the different planes we are considering here this is one of the planes having the coordinates the 1 0 now this is the another plane so the we can write the intercept the 1a infinite b infinite c now such a type of that the plane so now in this case here that means it intersect to the x axis and the y axis and it doesn't intersect along the z axis so therefore the intercept are the 1a 1b and uh, infinite c so the miller indices are the 1 1 now we have already Uh, since uh, this example here now we have already seen this example now then in case of we have already seen this example that means we can write it in terms of that other bar now then again these are the different planes now these planes this uh, that means these planes having the different intersect along the x y and the z axis so now with the help of the procedure given to find the miller indices now you can try to obtain the miller indices miller indices of by considering the orientations of these different planes now i am very thankful to all of you